The article begins today by saying addresses are something most of us take for granted. Yeah. Yeah, we see a phrase here: take something for granted. It means you don't appreciate something that you have, even though it brings you some benefits, or you just believe. That it's always going to be there. Yeah, it's never going to go away. So you don't really show that you're grateful for that thing. For example, we could say that young people often take their health for granted. That's probably true. It's, you just ignore. You think, "Oh, I'm healthy. I'm always going to be healthy." You don't look after it, and then you get sick or old or ill or all three, and you just feel like, "Oh, I should have done something. I should have taken care of it, or I should have appreciated it more." Yeah, and when took, I had taken it. advantage of it and just enjoyed it instead of just wasting it. Okay, so we're talking about taking addresses for granted. Which is, of course, my house has an address. It makes sense. It's、mm -hmm. a house. The article then says, however, in many third world countries, many homes don't have addresses at all. They just don't have them. So, a third world here we mean、uh, we usually use it to mean a developing country, one of the countries that is not as wealthy. It's kind of poor. Technically, it means a country that was not on either side during the Cold War. They weren't allied with the U.S. and they weren't allied with Russia. The remaining countries were called Third World, but these days it kind of means those that are still developing. Yes, right. The countries, some countries like in Africa, yeah, or, or South, South America, East Asia, and so on. Yes, they are described as third world countries,、mm -hmm. poor countries,、uh, where they don't have a lot of money or material things. Now, the article goes on to say, not having an address can lead to all sorts of problems. Yes,、mm. we use our address for so many things, and、yeah. I take mine for granted because、yeah. I go to fill out a form, and it says. Address. You write it down. Easy. You just write it down. I don't even think about it. Or you need to apply for something.、Uh, anything、mm -hmm. you do with the government. Yes. A you, new job. Getting mail. Oh, I want something delivered from Amazon or from some other website. I'll、oh, send it to my address. Yeah. When you apply for a job, I didn't think about that.、Uh, when you fill out a job application, they want to know where you live. Yeah. They want to make sure you have a place to live that you're stable. So if you don't have an address, you can't do any of these things. Things now we saw another phrasal verb here lead to that means to cause something or to result in something. For example, we could say the report in the newspaper led to a police investigation. Yeah, we also saw the phrase all sorts of. It can lead to all sorts of problems. All sorts to means a great variety of. For example, there are all sorts of snacks and drinks available at Taiwan's night markets. This is true.、Oh, there、yeah. are all kinds, many, many different things there、mm -hmm. you can buy. Now, what are some of these problems that not having an address can lead to?、Mm. For instance, how can the police or firefighters respond to an emergency if they don't know which street or house to go to? We didn't even mention that one. Yeah, we didn't think of that. So, okay, if there's a, a crime being yep, committed, if there's a fire, if there's a big fire somewhere, you have to call the police <clears throat> or the fire department. How do you tell them where to go、mm. if your house doesn't have an address? And likely the ones around you don't, don't either. Don't either. Yes. You would just have to give them directions, and、mm -hmm. that takes time, and that means there's more chance of people getting hurt. Exactly, because they need to respond quickly. Respond is a verb spelled R E S P O N D. Respond, and it means do something as a reaction. To something. Now, in our article, we're using it mean to go somewhere as quickly as possible to deal with a problem. We could also say the celebrity refused to respond to the reporter's personal questions. Now, here we're talking about responding to an emergency. That's right, emergency, and we spell that E M E R G E N C Y. Emergency. It's a serious. Unexpected and often dangerous situation that requires immediate action. In other words, you have to respond、mm -hmm. quickly. The police or the fire department or other emergency services. For example, there was an emergency at work when Frank fell off a ladder and hit his head.、Mm. Yes, yeah, that's an emergency. Yeah, call the ambulance, react immediately. Head injuries are always serious. So there are problems, but what might be the solution? 
The article says, a new global addressing system called what three words, and this is all one title, what number three words, and they, uh, it's, the article says, what three words is looking to change that. So that meaning this problem, this problem of no addresses. Now this system is a global system. Global is spelt G-L-O-B-A-L, -L, global. It's an adjective and it involves the whole world or many countries, something like that. Many organizations and people from all parts of the world, all over the globe, in fact. So we could say this global company has offices all over the world. Or we could say that Pat has dreams of global domination. Yeah. Taking over the world. Indeed. Just don't tell anybody. We also saw a phrase, be looking to do something. It means you are intending to do something or to achieve a certain purpose. In other words, you want mm. to do something very much. For example, we could say, Sarah is looking to move into a new apartment as soon as she can. So remember, if you're describing something that you want to do or mm -hmm. something you want to achieve, you can say you are looking to do something. Yeah, you can use any verb in there. Now the article continues and says, what three words has divided the entire world into 57 trillion three by three meter squares. Okay, we're going to explain what that means. First, we're going to look at the word divide, D-I-V-I-D-E, divide. To divide means to separate something large into smaller parts. For example, we divided the cake so everyone could have a small piece. Okay, that sounds fair. Now here, this company is taking the whole world, the entire world, and dividing it up into 57 trillion three, meet, three square meter squares. So that's a huge number. That is a massive, huge. A very big number. Gigantic number. Yeah. Trillion yes. is a million million. Yeah, and that's just in the US. Yes. In the UK, a trillion would mean a million, million, million. Because that's... the British have slightly different definitions for for both billion and trillion. That's a lot Something of zeros. Something to pay attention to, but yes, even a million million is a bit big. Yes, and as we could say, even the richest man in the world doesn't have a trillion dollars. So no. if you're talking about Bill Gates. Yeah, that Carlos Slim. Yeah, uh, even Donald Trump, he mm. has nowhere near a trillion dollars. Yes. Okay, so they're dividing them up. That means they've basically kind of covered the world with these imaginary three meter by three meter squares. That was what three by three means. It's got three meters on each face. That's kind of how wide the area of the square. Now the article adds each of these squares is labeled with just three words. So they put three words in each square, okay? That's what label means. Here it's being used as a verb. Of course, a label can be a noun, like on clothes or on food packages or something. As a verb, label, L-A-B-E-L, label, means either to actually attach a physical label, uh, or it could be a description of something that you assign, okay? Like Joe is labeled as one of the greatest writers Saskatchewan has ever produced. Maybe my street has ever produced. Right, in close Saskatchewan, enough. In we, my hometown. Yes. Let's we, narrow it down. Okay, we could also say all the products in a supermarket are labeled with the expiry date, so you know when it'll kind of go bad. Next, the article goes on to say no two combinations are the same. So we're talking about the combinations yeah, of the three, three words. words. None of them are the same. So each square has a special name that is easy to remember. Hmm. You see the word combination here. That's an arrangement of two or more things joined together. In this case, it is the three words that are joined together. For example, an email account password should contain a combination of letters and numbers. Yeah, and in fact, capital letters and small letters to make it super safe. Okay, the, here's more about these combinations, okay? So these three words that label each of these 57 trillion squares. The article says the combinations can also be changed into numerical coordinates. Okay, so this is how it works with a map and finding places. First, let's look at the word numerical. 
Okay, this means formed of or related to numbers. Okay, the numbers zero to nine, and just combinations of those. For example, the pin P I N you use for your ATM card is a numerical code. It's a section of four or six or eight numbers. We also saw the word coordinate yeah. here. It's a noun. That's a group of numbers that indicate where something is on a map. Or using another system. For example, the ship's captain noted down the coordinates of the mysterious island in his book. Okay, so this could be using those lines that people use over the globe, longitude and latitude. It could be just on a map where you've got like okay, A one, A two, A three, A four. So those are all different coordinates, and that's stuff people use to find things. So you can see how it's pretty key. Every square has a、uh, three-word combination. That means they can also be a map coordinate, so the emergency service can arrive there. The article says so far the system has also been rolled out in nine different languages. So far means up until now. So talking about when something started up until the current time. For example, so far I have watched seven of the ten episodes of this TV show. We also saw a phrase "roll out,"、mm. and this is our shortcut for you for this article. So let's find out more about this phrase with a short video.